Hey everyone, welcome back to the course on the 40S pre-cal exam. In this video, we're going to look at arc length. There's always at least one, sometimes even two questions on arc length, usually early on in the exam, sometimes even the first question. And there's only one formula we need to know for this, but it helps to reference the last video where we're converting radians to degrees because they always pretty much include that. So what is arc length? Arc length measures the length or the portion of the circumference of a circle given some central angle. So I'll call that central angle theta. It's where it's the angle that measures sort of that portion of the, uh, of the circle. And it's the central angle because the angle is formed at the center. And the formula, if we call S the arc length, S equals R theta where r is obviously the radius, theta is the angle, but this is very important, is that theta must be in radians for this formula to work. And this is where they always ask us a question, and they'll often give the central angle in terms of degrees. Um, let's take a look at why this works. What is the formula for circumference of a circle? We know that circumference equals 2 pi r. Well, we also know that 2 pi in radians is 360 degrees, or the entire circle. So if we looked at theta as being the entire circle all the way around, that would measure the arc length of the entire circumference. And you get 2 pi is your theta, r is your r, and 2 pi r is your, is your arc length, the entire circumference. So all we're doing is we're likely not going to have the angle be exactly 2 pi. It will either be, you know, they'll give something like this where this is um, 100 degrees, or they'll give a word problem where a bike tire or something rolls through an angle of 3,000 degrees or something like that. And we have to uh, adjust, turn it to radians, and then find the arc length. So let's, let's just do a quick example. Find the arc length of a circle with radius 6 centimeters and central angle 100 degrees. So take a second, try and use the formula as we know and pause the video, try it yourself, and then we'll move ahead. OK, moving ahead right now, um, we can easily recognize these questions, first of all, because a, it asks for arc length, but also just in terms of a, of a circle-based question, they almost always work like this. So if we clear some room, we go right away as soon as we see the words arc length in a question. We go right away to our formula, s equals r theta. I'm looking for arc length, so I don't need to adjust at all. So we know it's going to be s equals the radius is 6 times theta. But we can't use 100 degrees, so first we have to convert 100 degrees times pi over 180 because we know we want to convert to radians. This is equal to 10 pi over 18. I just canceled the zeros. So this can be reduced further to 5 pi over 9. So this is my central angle. 100 degrees is the same as 5 pi over 9 radians. So I'm just going to drop 5 pi over 9 in here. And we can keep an exact value. I'm just going to multiply the 6 to the 5 and we get 30 pi over 9 centimeters. Because it's measuring arc length, Make sure you get your units in there as centimeters. But that's really as simple as the question gets. Um, very common type of question. We're going to look on a future video about coterminal angles, and that will help us solve problems like this when they give you something like 1,000 degrees as opposed to 100 that's in the first revolution of the circle. But hopefully that makes sense for arc length. Let's make sure we get that question correct. Just determines which variable you're solving for, either theta, r, or s, and make sure that theta is always in radians. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next video.